Hey, hey, planner babes. This is Brittany of Planning with Britt. And I have a quick little video that I'm going to do for you guys. Um, today, this video would be on my Twisby pen. This is my first ever Twisby pen that I have bought. Um, I've been looking at these for quite a while and finally pulled the trigger on buying one. So the one that I bought was the crane with rose gold on it. And the point I have it in is the medium point. Um, I already filled it up with some ink. You guys know I have some first world press ink. And the ink I used was Tumbling Time Blue. And yeah, uh, very interesting. I know that this is not all the way down. Um, I did take it apart so I can grease the where it screws in that or when you retract it up and down to fill the ink up so i was messing around with that for a while and when i finally did get the pen back together and filled it up it didn't go all the way down but it is secure the ink will not come out so i know what to do when i go do this again but here's the ink again it's tumbling time blue as you can see still on my hands but yeah I am very, very happy with this purchase. You guys do know I have a collection of the Ferris Wheel Press pens. And I have one pen from off of Amazon. Um, the one Ferris Wheel Press pen is an aluminum pen. And it writes pretty good. But I've noticed all my other Ferris Wheel Press pens, the regular carousel pens, when I go to fill them up or claim them, and let them dry overnight and then refill them with ink again my it it's like i can't write with the pens anymore and i don't really know why like it skips um i can't i just can't write with them so i've been a little frustrated for the past couple of weeks because you guys know i love my first world press collection and i was told by a couple of planner friends to get a twisby pen um this pen was fifty dollars because of the kind that it is, but they do have ones that are $32 and $35 pens. But I wanted to splurge and get this one as a little Christmas gift to myself. Like I said, I've been eyeballing it for a while. But um, yeah, I'm very happy I bought this pen. It writes very, very smoothly. I can show you here. I kind of was writing with it a little while ago. And so like I said, the medium, I have the medium um tip on it. Because since all of my inks are shimmer, I want to be able to see the inks shimmer. And especially for that one, because this is a blue ink, but it has a red um, sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can see it on the paper, but there you go. As you can probably see it just a little bit. But yeah, I wanted the medium point because of the fact of the glitter and the bright colors that I have. But again, I really, really like this pen. It, the minute I filled it up with ink and I put it to paper, it wrote very smoothly. It didn't skip. No, nothing. So, yeah. Um, I would recommend this pen to anybody. A lot of people in the planner community do have Twisby pens. Um, again, like I said, this is my very first one. So, I'm going to rock with it for a little bit. And I'll probably end up buying another one. Probably come my birthday in March, I'll treat myself to another one, maybe two. But I'm going to write with this one for a while. Um, I'm going to write with the Tumbling Time Blue Ink for a while because it kind of gives me a little bit of winter vibes. And so, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a quick review on this pen. And again, this is the cream one with the rose gold hardware. Uh, these, this one and a few of the other ones with the rose gold hardware came out the beginning of December. So I most definitely wanted to try to snag it before it was gone. They do have it with white with rose gold, um, smoke black with rose gold. I believe they were the three that came out the beginning of the month. So, and I know a lot of places have been selling out the cream one. So I most definitely wanted this one in my collection. But, um... But yeah, this, that's the Twisby fountain pen, you guys. And like I said, this one was $50. They do have some that are $32. And of course, they go up in price depending on which make and model you get. But yep, yeah, this is... It was a great purchase. I'm, I'm happy with it. It writes smoothly. 
So me journaling will be much more fun. Um, I do have glass dip pens along with all of the Ferris World Press fountain pens that I can use. But I just wanted to have an everyday fountain pen to use, even like in my planners and such. So, yeah, I will mess with this a little later to kind of fix it. Because I think once you're supposed to fill it up, it's supposed to go back down. But again, when I put it back together, I did something and I, it's not all the way down. But again, the ink is secure. It does not leak out from up here unless if you take the whole pen apart. So I'll figure it out. You know, fountain pen newbie still here. But again, it's a very, very gorgeous pen. It writes very, very smoothly. I am very, very happy with my purchase. And I can't wait to add another one to my collection. So yeah, um, I will put um, the link below on where I purchased this pen from. I purchased it from a stationery shop in Texas. Um, I don't know the name of it. Actually, I lied. Yes, I did. Because I got a, a sticker from them. But this was the shop that I ordered from. I've ordered a few things from this shop. And it's a really good shop. They're very, very, very fast with shipping. Like, you place the order today and it gets shipped out the next day. So, again, I ordered this, I think, Friday. And it came today. So, yeah. Um, I will put a link, the, fake, the, the Instagram link for this shop. And I will also put my Instagram link. I will put down the price of the pen and the actual make and model of it for anybody that is interested. Again, make sure you like and subscribe to this video. I will do more videos of me writing with this pen so you guys can see just how good it is on white paper. I just grabbed something quickly to kind of see how it holds up. And I know the pink paper is a little off. But again, I'll be writing with this pen for a while and using this ink for a while. So, but yeah. Um, there it is. Twisby. Great pens, great models. Like I said, everybody's using them. Um, I know there's a couple other brands that everybody likes, but again, this is, I'm just starting out with this one. And again, I'll probably purchase another one in, a, in about two months. I'll write with this one to see how it fares and, you know, get to love it, let it grow on me. But again, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone in the new year. And like and subscribe to this video and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my videos. I have more videos coming up soon. Um, I'm PR for another shop. So I will have a few videos coming up over the next five days or so with all of that information and new product. I'll be having a video up for the new Villa Beautiful Lux box um, once I receive that. So yeah, stay tuned for some fun stationary stuff for 2024. You guys have a wonderful evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. And Happy New Year to all of those. And yes, and I'll see you guys in the upcoming new year. Bye, Planner Babes.